Welcome to Webster, the secret power of schwa. Pluto, what are you doing here? This is about Webster and schwa. Nothing that is normally in your orbit of interest. I learned so much with you in the W can be a vowel video that I s decided to hang out for a, a few more videos. Plus, those words look intriguing. Now that I'm not a planet, I need some new tricks. The super schwa power thingy sounds cool. Oh, I guess you can stay then. You are cuter than Noah Webster. Right, so what is a schwa anyway? Oh, do you have to keep that up? I felt it and saw it, but I still don't get it. What do you say when you don't know what to say? Uh... Right, that's absolutely correct. What? That's the normal sound of schwa, the sound we make when our mouth is relaxed. Can't you see him? According to the American Heritage Dictionary, schwa is noun, a vowel sound that in English often occurs in an unstressed syllable, as the sound of A in alone or E in linen. First, some syllables. Then, we'll show you how syllables interact with schwa to make the power of Webster. Syllables that end in a consonant are short. Ab, eb, ib, ob, ub. If they end in a vowel, they're long. They say their name, except y, says the sound of i. Be, be, bi, bo, boo, bi. Here are some syllable rules that we can apply to Webster. Unaccented syllables often schwa, especially at the beginning or end of a word. The schwa sound usually tends toward short u, uh, but e's often schwi to short i. Like we're all, it schwa's to uh, and fill it, it schwa's to short i. Accented and unaccented y's follow a different pattern. The bolded syllables are accented in the second row. Y, when it is part of a syllable that is accented, will have its normal long I sound, as in deny and misapply. When Y is unaccented at the end of the word, it usually has a sound of E, as in cruelty and happy. Other syllables at the end of a word will usually schwa. That's enough rules. I want to see some serious words. Lay them on me. Oh, not again! Now you'll get to see the schwa in action. The bolded syllables are accented. The unaccented syllables often schwa. And Y at the end says E in unaccented syllables. Emissary, luminary, planetary, sedentary, momentary, transitory. Planetary, I used to like that word. So what exactly is its power? It felt a bit heavy, but not as powerful as your advertising led me to believe. Well, you might know all of those words, so it doesn't seem that powerful to you. But for young children and students whose native language is not English, it is extremely powerful. How exactly does that work? The schwa accent pattern of arrangement allows them to correctly pronounce long, difficult words with the proper accent. I had two students who spoke English well with common words that were in their vocabulary, but they had difficulty with multisyllable words. At first, when I used Webster's Speller with them, they needed help after every word to be able to pronounce the words correctly. But after doing about 10 or 20 words with the same schwa accent pattern, they caught on and were able to pronounce every word in the table correctly sounding exactly like a native speaker. And once they caught on, it only took a few words in each table before they could pronounce them correctly on their own. Do you have any tougher words? I would like to try. English actually isn't my native language either. I do. I'll let you try a few. But first, tell me, what do you speak on Pluto? That's top secret information I could tell all you, but... Okay, I'll do the first four, then you try the last two. 
elucidate, enumerate, erroneous, terraqueous. Harmonious, gratuitous. You tried to trick me with if that I as an E, but I have been around the block a few times. I know that trick. Is your native language a Romance language like Latin or Spanish? They have I as E. I told you, that's top secret. Now we're getting to see the true power of Webster with these words here. The last few tables were 7th and 8th grade level words. This is 9th grade level words, and I've had plenty of young elementary students be able to sound these out easily once they've overlearned the syllables. You teach the syllables so well that they can spell and sound out any of them. Then they learn the schwa accent pattern and can approach these words with ease. Triennial, lixivial, millennial, conciliate, calumniate. And here, some 12th grade level words. Again, I've had many young elementary students capable of sounding them out after working through Webster. Immalleability, perpendicularity, incompressibility. Even a few kindergartners. And some words with CHSK, usually from Greek. Catechetical, ichthyology. Ichthyology, seriously, who uses that word anyway? Well, maybe someone who studies fish. There is not much call for that out here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos here. And boring but effective phonics and spelling lessons at thephonicspage.org. They teach phonics to the 12th grade level. Most students gain a reading grade level or two. Comment on what you'd like to see next. We could tackle Greek roots and Greek sound spelling patterns, or what your brain is doing when you're reading, or any big major topic in phonics. I've studied most of them, and would love to learn about anything I don't know about relating to phonics and spelling.